Hey guys, this is Kriti here. Welcome back to my channel. So, I'm making a slightly different video for this week. As we all know what is going on in the world right now and uh, since most of us are staying at home and quarantined at the moment, I want to bring something positive and light-hearted to my channel to give you guys some idea as to what you could do apart from just sleeping through all day, being lazy and scrolling through Instagram. It's it's definitely not going to be anything groundbreaking or super new. Um I guess just take this video as a reminder, uh, an inspiration, or um, just entertainment. I know, I know these are stressful times, but the belief that you know that probably most of us have caught it already is also unlikely. As of now, we are extremely uncertain about the absolute number of mild cases, but we have good evidence that the majority of the population hasn't yet fallen ill, which makes it even more important to take precaution and you know just stay at home and break this chain. See, we can no longer stop it, but what we can can do is slow it down so if you've taken the necessary steps and self quarantine which i can only hope that you have uh, then i've got you here i know a lot of us may feel anxious and super worried during this time um but yeah like just keep yourself busy and don't worry this too shall pass sending lots of love your way and yeah let's get into the productive things that you can do during your time home so that at the end of the day you feel like you've done something and not just been lazing around all day so yeah let's get into it Oh come on. Don't tell me you've had the time to try a new breakfast dish or a salad you saw on Pinterest or more so you've actually got the time to have it with a peace of mind before you have to rush and leave for work. This is that time. This is the time when you can really prepare some yummy wholesome meals and learn some new recipes that you thought you would try one day and impress your taste buds. Don't fool yourself by thinking, "Oh, I did want to start working out, but what can I do? Gyms are closed now." Well, what you can do is stop giving excuses and get your body moving. There are thousands of videos on YouTube itself about workouts you can do at home. You don't need much. You probably just need a yoga mat. Okay, fine. Any mat would do really. A jump rope for cardio and most importantly, a right mindset. That's all really. You don't have to really break a sweat. You can even do yoga, meditate or simply stretch. But what's important to keep your body active during quarantine is to move your body in some way. Believe Give me, give it just twenty minutes, and you will thank yourself the entire day. You know, if I think about it, with all due respect to anybody and everybody even slightly affected by this pandemic, but this period is kind of a self-reflection time for a lot of us. I mean, how many chances do you actually get to get your life together? You can really use this time to clean, organize, and declutter your space. To give you some ideas, you can clean your shoes. Yes, those white ones you bought, thinking they would remain looking brand new on Indian streets. You can declutter your desktop screen and delete all the unwanted folders. Press unsubscribe on hundreds of emails you receive from useless platforms. Clean your phone gallery and WhatsApp chats that are taking up unnecessary space on your phone. Clean your bedroom mirror, your makeup brushes, your closet. There is literally so much that even 2 weeks can seem less to complete all of it. You remember you thought you're going to give time to those hobbies or like make your room the coolest most aesthetically looking places to live. Well, what happened there? You got caught up with life, right? But what about now? You can easily make that Pinterest collage wall, hang that wall map, rearrange some furniture here and there, paint few canvases, DIY some teas, etc., etc. Your ideas are the limit. Get creative, kids. This is your time to utilize. I personally completed this painting I left working on because yeah right life caught up so I made sure I completed this and guess what it will be hanging on one of the walls in my house very soon and make me feel proud about it Yes, I am one of you guys. I have struggled with playing a music and then going back and forth and choosing my favorite songs for the current mood I am in. Why don't we make a playlist of future days then? One for workout, one for when I'm driving, one for dancing mood, and well, one for all the other times. That is the sad music. Literally, that's the music I want to listen to 20 out of 24 hours. Comment below if you're the same. Um, also, if you haven't started listening to podcasts yet. What are you even doing? <laughs> no, just kidding. But it's honestly the best for times when you may be cleaning your room and you can just play it, and you will surely learn so much from it. Like every podcast you listen to, so in a way you're gaining like twice from the same time. 
well if i hadn't made one before i would have probably given one of these days on making one i made a whole separate video on this a few weeks back so i'm gonna leave a link on the screen here if you want to check that out but i promise watching it every day will make you so motivated to just keep going towards your goals so try making one now that you have the time at home you don't have to make it so extensive just putting images of your goals on a board is the whole idea behind it well, 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 boys and girls, how many times in a month do you actually get the time to take care of yourself physically and mentally? This is your time to give yourself a pampering session, aka a spa day. Do a face mask, hair mask, groom yourself, read a book and cleanse your brain. Basically, be your bougie self. I am sure you must be having so many connections and relations in your life with whom you don't get time to catch up with. Yes, you can't go and meet them, but hey, technology is great and made the world a lot smaller these days. So you can probably FaceTime or call them and talk about old plans, future trips, gossips, well, I leave that to you. There is no time to stop learning. There are so many online courses available on the internet these days. As I said, technology is great. You can learn photography, learn a new instrument, learn a new language, public speaking, literally anything. So basically, you can go back to school without even going back to school. You know what I mean? Okay, fine. No bad jokes, Kriti. But basically, what I'm trying to say, I guess, is use this time to learn something. Okay. I get it. You think it's not for you. You think it's a waste of time. But hey, times are changing, boys and girls. And you're not doing much sitting on that couch anyway. So might as well learn a dance on TikTok. And hey, let me warn you, it's not as easy as it seems. Okay, and one more thing you can do is binge watch a YouTube channel. I mean, I would suggest you to watch mine, but hey, no pressure. Anyway, that's it for this video. These were just 10 things that you could do during your self-quarantine. But jokes apart, stay safe everyone. It's better to stay indoors. And to anybody who thinks that they don't care, um, it's not just for you. You have a responsibility to keep yourself healthy for everyone who surrounds you. Wash your hands and wash them as if you've just chopped green chili and you're about to take off your contact lenses, you know? It should be that, that effective. And now don't go like, oh my god, Krithi, but I don't wear contact lenses. Imaginary contact lenses, guys. Anyway, jokes apart, um, stay safe, stay indoors. Um, I love you guys. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe this video. Um, I'm going to see you guys in my next one. Bye.